Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, want to apologize. I, uh, whoever does the Tonight Show, uh, Johnny especially, when he's introducing someone who's written a book, he holds up the book. Unfortunately for me, the book was not here. The book is Favor the Runner by J. Richard Kennedy. And now, uh, if you recall, the last time I, uh, I did the show, I had on, as uh, one of my guests, Frank Sinatra. And I have to tell you what this show did for him. <laughs> well, you have my word. Uh, the next day, wherever he went, people recognized him. <laughs> and uh, I was going to introduce... Sit down here for a while. Just sit down for a minute. Don't look for me to give you another break like I did the last time. Just sit and relax. So far, this show has been oh, aw Ed. awfully slow. <laughs> <laughs> this has Only... been, without a doubt, one of the slowest moving shows I've ever seen. Except for the one I saw you do last Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> this, it was terribly slow. Yes, and your condition, the super chief would be slow. <laughs> But this, uh, 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 if, yeah. you're, if you're wondering about this, I'm celebrating the Dodger victory. Yeah. And if it wasn't that, you'd find something else to celebrate? Yeah, I, I was celebrating the victory for 22 hey, years. Dean, when Frank talks, shut up. Ah. I wasn't coming here. Just on my way, I slipped on an ice cube, slid right in here. <laughs> Are you kidding? When we were coming over here tonight, I was a little concerned about his driving. When the minute, the minute he got to the wheel, I was worried. Why is that? The left rear wheel he was going to drive. <laughs> Beautiful. So this is the time. How do all show? these people get in our room? I don't know. <laughs> I watch this show every night. My Jeannie and me. That's her name. Jeannie. <laughs> We watch it every night, and this is this is, this has been the slowest show I've ever seen. Huh? What do you say, Dago? Huh? I agree. Well, that's we also, number one. We want to ask you, fellas, if, what do you only go out in the daytime with these gray suits, such a dress? That this is a midnight show. What are you doing with the gray clothes on? You guys should be in the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> this we're all dressed for the tonight show, and you come out with grays. Hi, right, Phil. How's your foster? <laughs> Never had anything like us on the show, did you? <laughs> this is the slowest show I've ever been on. I'm telling you. Hey, where's that Johnny baby? It's back there. <laughs> Don't cut that out. Is he out making a buck again or something? No, he's doing a very worthwhile benefit, as a matter of fact, in Chicago at McCormick Place. What's for that? who? For skits or who? I really don't know. He's, uh, he's out doing a... <laughs> don't don't light anything way. near him, Frank. <laughs> is skits here? May I just pay you a compliment? No, skits is not here. Oh. Good. <laughs> That's fine. Yes, you make... Pay me a compliment? I don't know what it's about. I just want to say I've been watching your show. I think you're absolutely great on it. I'm with you. <laughs> we'll be back in just a minute after this. Listen, I'd like to get serious for just a moment. <laughs> you know, every time, every time I say something to Dean... You'd like to get serious? What are you, cracking? Are you sick you, or what? Just tell you how much I appreciate uh, Boys Town of Italy. You know this man here has the distinction of being the only man alive I ever ate a dry olive? <laughs> <laughs> now, what I was going to say would have gotten a bigger I chuckle than that. It out. <laughs> Boy, if you got something funny to say, Frank, sing it.
That's twice this year I've given you a break. That means, Charlie, that he drinks martinis with wet olives in them all the time. <laughs> Jazz. What's up? Hey, Dean, don't. Don't do like that. Don't ever do like that. <laughs> I watched your rehearsal of your show tonight. Yeah. And I just want to get serious enough to, to tell you how much I appreciate that's the That's good. You said yeah. That's good. Every time I, I say the word that. serious, he goes off. <laughs> What's serious about what? Well, can a fella... I got a hit show and that's it. What do you want from me? <laughs> What is so serious about introducing wonderful people like Ella Fitzgerald and uh, George Global? You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You get a show, you stick with it, there's no practicing. <laughs> no. no practicing? <laughs> we don't practice, we just go out and do it. That's it. Can I get a light? Certainly. That's not a lighter. Oh. <laughs> this is the lighter. Oh. We'll be back in just a moment after this word from your local station. <laughs> and now, here speaking in round figures for the King of Beers is Ed McMahon. Did you ever think about all the sandwiches that are consumed across the country during just one evening's Tonight Show? For example, there are thousands of loaves of bread, hundreds of slices of cold cuts, jar after jar of mustard, actually tons and tons of pickles. And when all those sandwiches are enjoyed, here's a safe bet on what's being enjoyed right along with them. That, of course, would be Budweiser. Bud is the largest selling beer in the world. Up a bottle of Bud and let that flavor out. Here's a beer that makes it mighty clear what taste is all about. So raise your stein at the friendly sign, Budweiser, king of beers. If you're planning an icebox uh, raid tonight, Go right ahead and pour yourself a Budweiser to go right along with that sandwich. It could possibly cost a little more, but as the echo says, it's that Budweiser taste that makes it worth it. It is worth it. It's Budweiser. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Johnny's going to be thrilled when he comes back and find out that this whole show was sustaining. <laughs> No sponsors. The whole show was floating, but not sustaining. Now we got a void from one of our sponsors? Hey, I say that oh, later. Oh, that's all right. Are we on now, or we got another one of them things? No, we're on. We're on right now. I don't know what you're doing here say, today. All the bishops are in New York. <laughs> no. Yes, Frank. How? It's a dud. Get that. Uh, what is it? You're just doing a show for the night? Or how many nights are you going to do the show? I signed a deal with NBC. I do it one night a year. On a Gentile holiday? Do you, do you work on Rosh Hannigan? Rosh Hashanah. Oh, Rosh Hashanah? <laughs> I mean, are you doing one show, this one show now? Ain't you pitching Wednesday, aren't you? <laughs> you wanna hear the ocean? Hear it, I can smell it. <laughs> good up, good up. Boy, I gotta say, this was pretty dull before we came out. <laughs> Say something, Phil, and speak up. Don't be shy. Oh, there are a lot of pretty cats out here. Did you notice them, girls? Yeah. A few dogs, too. Is... <laughs> There's one running around right there. There he goes. Phil, what was... Who took back them nails? Why did they take the nails back? <laughs> oh, I love that joke. That kid had brains who took <laughs> the nails back. Good Phil. Tree? You Phil. You material now? <laughs> Over here with the Hebrews. <laughs> Thank you. 
Grab yourself a chair. Well, go back there, Phil. How'd you do this to me? I just thought you'd like to stretch. But did you notice how we had that uh, man make a trip this week so we could even the score with all of your all of your holidays and stuff? We had to have some kind of action going. Yeah. So we, yes. We brought our man over here tomorrow. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> but today. It's coming over. Today. I never know when you see this show. This show will be on Monday night, cross country. Oh, well, my man has already gone home. <laughs> no. Did uh, Sheen see him off? <laughs> what is... What has Vaudeville got to do with this? A bishop Sheen. Do you know when we're through with these bleeps, we won't have enough to do a show? You're going to cut these off? Well, I'm leaving if you're going to cut what I've been saying. <laughs> huh? Oh, don't cut them off, because we may not be back this way. <laughs> you know, it's 12.30 in New York and everybody's drinking. But <laughs> could I have some of that? That's tea. That's Here's tea. a guy brought me water. I ain't had water since I was 17. <laughs> That's real water. That's what it looks like. You ever see what that does to your shoes? <laughs> Curls them right up, but I'll drink it. Really you are fun. really a friend. Anytime you would drink water for a guy, you're a friend. Well, that's um, <laughs> I think he's nuts myself. I don't think he's a friend at all. What are we selling now, Joe? We're not selling anything, oh. Frank, except perhaps millions and millions of dollars of worth of talent. <laughs> what time does Wait till he on? finds out that this is not the show he's doing, but the Tonight Show. He'll really flip. This is the, the Tonight Show. I ain't getting paid for this? Yes. Oh, I'm getting what? Well, if what? I tell you what you're getting for this, you'll say, who? No, he'll say more than that. Let me put it this way. I know this boy. He'll say a lot more than that. What, uh, what, what am I getting? Well, you better hold on tight. I got him. The two of you're you... Fresh. Normally, you would both get separate checks, but because you both came on together, you what came on it? as a team. <laughs> you're getting $160 a piece. That's outright? Outright. I mean, everything taken care of be before we get there. There are a few deductions. <laughs> like the water. <laughs> Little things. The you ice want... cube you slipped on? <laughs> yeah. You don't want that back, do you? No. <laughs> well, that ain't as bad as a show I watched with old John Carson the other day with, uh, you know, Robert Goulet, who looks like... Uh, you know Robert Goulet, what he looks like? An 8 by 10 glossy. <laughs> Doesn't he? He's so pretty and wonderful. And his wife, they were talking about horses. You remember that? They were talking about what? Horses. And what they do on stage. Oh, I saw that, yes. Uh, you saw it? Yes, I did. Saw? I said saw. You said saw. No, you said saw. You, it's not saw. It's S-A-W-E, saw. <laughs> I said. Sure, but that was a terrible show. It was almost as bad as the first part of this. <laughs> this was horrible. Oh, wasn't it? it was awfully slow. Oh boy, I tell you something. Could I just look at that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming on next? Actually, the police. <laughs> See how I kept quiet, Frank, when you talk? Yes, I noticed that, Joe. Joe, baby? We're yes. leaving you. We don't want this to come as a shock. You can't leave. What do you mean we can't leave? Hey, Fine. not for the kind of money this show pays. <laughs> you don't just leave when you feel like, Frank. How come there's a guy in the wing going like this? Out, 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 out. <laughs> That's to me, he's talking. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't leave. I gotta leave. You see, Jeannie had a terrible accident at breakfast this morning. She drank my orange juice by mistake. <laughs> She don't feel too good. We, but we, I got up, took my usual plunge right down the stairway. <laughs> Wee! What happened I, with that guy with the nails? What is that? <laughs> what did he take him back for? Could I interrupt? Why don't you cheer down a little bit? <laughs> what is and it? now uh, a word from one of our sponsors, L&M. L&M, filter cigarettes. Missed again.
When Hawaiians dance the hula, their hands act out a story like, come on over to the L&M side. Come on over for the taste of it. Come on over, you'll be glad you did. Come on over to the L&M side. Come on over to the L&M side. Come on over for the taste of it. tell the story. In an L&M, taste tells the story. So come on over, just for the taste of it. Come on over to the L&M side. Come on over for the taste of it. Come on over, you'll be glad you did. Come on over to the L&M side. E hele mai ne ika, L&M. Just for the taste of it. I get John one night. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you, you, uh, you two fellows did a, a, a couple of promos regarding uh, Dean Martin's show on Thursday night on NBC, and we happen to have it, and with your permission, we would like to run it. If the, Dean? Huh? Oh. <laughs> didn't mean to wake you, buddy. What did he say? I don't know. What's the difference? Just leave a call. You got so, to mean some film and what we did together? Yes. Now I want to explain to the audience that you kind of kidded around and broke each other up and everything. And What's this... a promo? What? <laughs> a promo is like when you go to school. The teacher says, everybody who isn't left down is promoed. <laughs> All right? You got it now? Oh, you Don't tell them what your... I said, Frank. <laughs> you what? <laughs> so well, Let's see it. I've never seen that thing. You're going to show a promo that I had on my show? No, that you didn't And you're have. giving me $116? 160 Oh, six, he gets the 60? No, 320 for the two of you. Oh, double. The yeah. weekend I get drunk tonight, boy. <laughs> okay, you, roll why, it. I mean, why don't you go out and get sober? <laughs> I can do that inside. Are we ready to run this? So here, here are the list of promos you and Frank made. Frickin' frack, here we go. <laughs> Well, that's it, folks. We've done our little bit, and I think we ought to get out of here. Yeah, wait just a moment. Uh, hey, you mind your business. You got no lines. I have to have some... I haven't any dinner yet. Frank, if I tell you these people have been here since 11 o'clock this morning... That's their problem. That's not mine. And none of us... Wasn't it dull before we came on? Sure. You know I missed Highway Patrol again. <laughs> you want to make 2,000 lira? <laughs> did, uh, did either uh, of you, 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 you wouldn't? There's no way. There's no way. Sing? No. What are you, cracking? I'm just asking, that's all. <laughs> I'd sing, but I ain't got no guitar. <laughs> Listen, I got a powerful voice, but I can't go across the United States without a microphone. Uh, I would like to do a little song, Joey, with uh, your permission. Uh, this being a late show, there's a kind of a saloon song. I'll hold your drink so it don't get hot. <laughs> people, the laugh and the drinks on me. Try to think that love's not around, 
It's unmistakably near My poor heart ain't gaining any ground Because my angel eyes ain't here Angel eyes the old devil sent They glow unbearably bright Can't you see that my love's misspent Misspent with angel eyes tonight So drink up all you people Order anything you see And uh, have fun You happy people The laugh And the drinks On me Pardon me But I gotta run The facts uncommonly clear I gotta find now the number one and why my angel eyes ain't here excuse me while I disappear That was a hint, but nobody came out with any jugs or nothing that happened. <laughs> oh, boy. boy, I gotta get out of here. I'd take a sleeping pill, but it makes me drowsy. <laughs> hey, let's drink some of that. Yeah. Hey, could you put that over the rocks? <laughs> and now a delightful story about a product more people are using than ever before. I'd drink anything right now. <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Frank, can we talk a little bit about the uh, picture you're currently involved in? Uh, the picture we're involved in is called uh, Assault on a Queen uh, that stars Verna Lisi, um, uh, Jan Yellen, Kjellen, his name is. He's a Swedish actor who, who was a fine actor. And uh, we have uh, Richard Conti, my old buddy, and uh, Tony Francioso. It's a, almost a completely all Italian cast. We tried to arrange it, but we had to get one Swede in there somewhere. They passed the censorship. And I uh, see you in a better dress. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's a uh, it's a very quickly a story of a group of people who are uh, fairly tired of the humdrum of life, and they raise an old U-boat that's been on the bottom of the sea for 20 years. That's a U-boat. Uh, no, that's not my boat. Maybe it's a U-boat. It's a U-boat. <laughs> If I find out you're doing the picture just for that joke, I'll never talk to you as well. And we, uh, we stick up to Queen Mary. <laughs> well, that goes your last sponsor, baby. What, is that Queen Mary's a sponsor? No, stick up. Oh, I see. <laughs> and uh, that's what we're doing, Joey. And uh, you want to hear what I'm doing after that? Uh, well, yes, I would like to. Drinking? <laughs> Resting? I drank so much last night, my hair hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I'm going to do any Wednesday in, the, in February. I'm going to do that with, uh, with uh, Sandy Dennis, who did the Broadway show. And uh, in the interim, I play the Sands Hotel for about three weeks. 
What other plugs should we get in now? That's the deal I have, you know, for the month of January. What's that? That's another big engagement I got coming up. You're off Monday nights, so I have to work. Oh, you're going to fill in on the Monday nights? Well, I'll be at the airport, and they'll call me, and I'll run. (laughs) Well, you know, Gordon McRae, you know, does all my outdoor work with the big voice. He does uh, the county fairs and all that stuff. He was on Dean's show tonight. He did the show. Well, he he and Sheila McRae were both on. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Well, I made two pictures last year. They're still at the drugstore. (laughs) I just finished a thing called a silencer. Yes, you did. I wish he would. (laughs) Silencer. It's the American James Bond. My name is Matt Helm. Oh. I killed 15 guys one afternoon, one gun. Didn't reload at all, except, you know, when I went to the bar. Thought it was taller. <laughs> this sure was dull before we came out. <laughs> yeah, it's you know what's pretty been bad the, right now, I'll tell you that. You know, the funniest part about the show is the way he's been flicking the ashes on my hand instead of the ashtray. <laughs> Boy, it sure is swell being here, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> no, we I can waited. do this show anytime we want, you yeah? know. Yeah? No problem. I've been watching it Dave for... Tepper arranges the whole they? thing. Over. Yes. <laughs> Been watching four or five years. I was just hoping I'd get to get on this thing. Well, I want you to know how much I appreciate the time, uh, fact that you were It's run. not that it's your, cause it's your show. Just I You want to let me finish before they think I'm a Nazi? <laughs> how much I appreciate the fact that you would run directly from your show right over to here and I... Cigar! Have you got the wrong party? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in just a minute after this word from your local stations. I just saw Betty, Buddy Greco standing over there, and I just want to congratulate him on his big smash at the Coconut Grove, Buddy. Yeah, Buddy. Yeah, he over there. Johnny Carson will be back tomorrow night, and Johnny's guests will be Bill Cosby, George Siegel, Carol Andreessen, Paul can Revere, I ask you, can and the I ask Raiders. A question, please, yes, Frank. Frank. Did you bring the ice cream truck with you when you came over? <laughs> From the co- I like a crushed almond. I again would like to thank Phil Foster, Juliet Prowse, We're Frank through. Sinatra, Dean Martin for giving up and some Jay of you. And Jay Kennedy. And Jay Kennedy for appearing here tonight. Well, we know and when we're not wanted. You're yeah. throwing us off, right? No, that's it. Bye. This program was pre-recorded. <laughs>